Section 4, Heptagon. The heptagon is a seven-pointed star. It is not a platonic solid. The heptagon was used by Dr. John Dee, the 16th century mathematician, occultist, Satanist, and master spy to Queen Elizabeth I. Dr. Dee created a seal, Seelium Dei, which he used in his seances to conjure demons and gain knowledge. This seal, Seelium Dei, that Dr. Dee used was in the shape of a heptagon. A heptagon is also used in occult rituals today. A member of the occult group, OTO, which stands for Ordo Templi Orientis, Steffi Grant, used the heptagon in an occult painting, Vault of the Adepts. The Satanist, Aleister Crowley, also used a heptagon in his occult ceremonies and ritual practices. In our nation's capital, a heptagon is made by the layout of the monuments and streets. For clarity, shaded in pink, the points that form the heptagon are 1. Logan Circle 2. DuPont Circle 3. Washington Circle 4. The Lincoln Memorial 5. The Jefferson Memorial 6. The Hirshhorn Sculpture Garden and 7. Mount Vernon Square Again, for clarity, the heptagon is overlaid on a satellite image of Washington, D.C. Do you see the resemblance? A heptagon is also shown in a sculpture, Moon Dog, by Tony Smith, that exists in the National Gallery Sculpture Garden on Madison and 7th Street. Each point, circle, monument of the heptagon correlates to one of the seven planets known to ancient man and were considered physical manifestations of celestial intelligences. These planets are the Sun, Jefferson Memorial, Mars, Lincoln Memorial, Jupiter, Washington Circle, Saturn, DuPont Circle, the Moon, Logan Circle, Mercury, Mount Vernon Square, and Venus, the Hirshhorn Sculpture Gallery. As evidence of this correspondence between the points of the heptagon and the seven planets. At DuPont Circle is a female figure holding a globe with a ring around the globe. The globe she is holding is Saturn. Also you can see on the female figure are a five-pointed star and a six-pointed star. As another piece of evidence, the Jefferson Memorial corresponds with one of the seven planets known to ancient man, the Sun. The Jefferson Memorial also lines with the summer solstice line via Maryland Avenue. This photo of the summer solstice was taken on June 20th, 2008. You can see the sun rising over National Arboretum via Maryland Avenue. If you had a clear view from the Jefferson Memorial to the Capitol Dome, you could see the sun rise over the Capitol Dome similar to what the Druids saw when the sun rose over the heelstone at Stonehenge. In National Arboretum, a sacred grove that the Bible speaks of, are the 22 capital columns. These 22 columns mark the importance of Maryland Avenue as the summer solstice line, evidenced by a stone in the ground inscribed with the words, the illumination of the columns is a gift of Judith and Gerson Lieber. These 22 capital columns also correspond with the 22 major arcana of the tarot deck and the 22 paths of the Kabbalistic tree of life. Within the heptagon is also a five-pointed star called a pentagram and a six-pointed star called a hexagram. The points of the pentagram are 1. The White House 2. Mount Vernon Square 3. Washington Circle 4. Logan Circle and 5. DuPont Circle The pentagram is also known as a symbol of Venus because of the pattern Venus traces around the Earth in its eight-year cycle. Man's body also forms a pentagram. To the right of the circle is the hieroglyphic form for Venus. The pentagram is used in Masonic temples. The pentagram in its hieroglyphic form is equivalent to the constellation Virgo and the Egyptian goddess of wisdom, Isis. In ritual magic, the pentagram is used to evoke and banish spirits. The points of the hexagram, the next symbol, are 1. Logan Circle, 2. DuPont Circle, 3. Washington Circle, 4. Mount Vernon Square, 5. 
Freedom Plaza, and 6, Rawlings Park. The hexagram is also used in ritual magic for evoking and banishing of spirits. You've probably seen the hexagram before. It's on the Israeli flag. It's also known as the Star of David. 